Uh, what I, I guess what I am going to say this morning is I'm literally shocked at the report that I've seen uh, this morning. I think that it doesn't at all reflect the situation that you're, uh, that you're in. I have put, a, 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 I guess, a call out to all of you uh, that I am available to answer any questions uh, or any concerns or to have some type of, so we can have some type of overlap. Um, you know, we went out and had a full public consultation. The public, we said that we were going to listen to the public as far as their wishes. Uh, they give this board very clear direction. Not only is this a, a far shift from what the public said, uh, but this is also a far shift from what our previous administration has put forward as, as, as options. I see that we have some public members that were on the board uh, before uh, that once believed that a 10% uh, hike over a three year period was the only particular option. And now I'm seeing this increase of 3%. I see these cost charges of the MSA, for example, of a of an additional $2 million, the reality is a 3% increase doesn't even offset that type, where you don't even get one extra uh, pipe into the ground. And again, I think you've all seen the graphs and the reports that show that as we move closer and closer to that 600 uh, break, uh, that obviously we're going to be in a lot, of, a lot of difficulties. I strongly believe that this is no different what's being put forward. Uh, I can't help but to think that this is going to be a huge shell game played out in the city. This is no different than what Enron has done, or Goldman and Sachs, and uh, and I want to say that I'm going to put a we're going to put a citizens advisory committee together. We're going to do some peer review work. Uh, we're going to go out and have consultation with the community on what is being put forward. I think your job is trying to stretch the dollar and try to maximize and do things as efficiently as possible, recognizing the difficulties the public is facing, uh, but at the same time we need to make sure that we deliver safe, reliable water and again in the most efficient way. Uh, you look at again the breaks, in fact I just want to give a most frustrating to me, you look at the way City Council runs their business, uh, they're paying down debt, they have reserves, um, you know, they're, they're, you know they're, they're doing the infrastructure, they're doing all the work they needed and some of the same politicians that sit on this board obviously have a different approach to how they're going to run the Windsor Utilities Commission versus how they are going to run the business within the city. The only way that I can see that we can get out of this mess is that this is this asset at some point will be corporatized. I see this as a sinking pig if it's continued to run uh, the way that, it, that, that it's being done. The only options essentially you have are to amortize um, things over a longer period of time. And again, the whole concept of debt is if you believe that the economy is going to improve someday. Um, the reality is anytime in the near future, all the experts are saying that's not going to happen. Um, so I got a whole host of concerns here, and uh, I'm going to certainly be available to the board. Uh, we're going to have some community meetings on this particular issue. I just want to give you, a, you know, at a time when the Windsor City Council is saying, you know, you can't raise the water rate, you can't raise the water rate. Um, just last year, they went, they raised the sewer surcharge three dollars and eighty-five cents, uh, which was uh, which was pretty significant. So how we can find money to invest in sewers, which I think is important, incredibly important. Uh, but yet run the Windsor Utilities Commission into the ground is, is, a, is a complete shock. We did a, a brief analysis when I was the chairman of the board that just showed the difference in the 60 cents. For example, what the board put forward was a 5% increase. Uh, what council ended up recommending was a 3% increase. And I want you to know it's this board that makes decisions as it regards to rates. It's not city council. And the difference was about 60, 60 cents. And if you look at that 60 cents over a period of five years, uh, that is going to cost, I forget, I think it was going to be an extra 350 water main breaks, you times 350 water main breaks, and I think it was $5,000 per meter. I think it ended up being about $1.5 million of just flushing people's uh, monies down the toilet. And the longer we wait, the more cost, the more costly it's going to be to the public. I say to the member on the public board and, 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 to, and to the staff, I feel sorry for you. Um, I do not envy your position. I certainly recognize the position that you're in. Uh, but I want to say to the board members, we're going to be out there advocating, advocating on your behalf that you're allowed to manage this operation in the most prudent fashion. There's no way that, uh, you know, even, even the political claims that have been made out there, you know, you're asked to sit on a board to develop an analysis and they said, you know what, we're not going to have any increases. I want to know how they can invite you, look at the numbers that you're looking at, suggest that there's not going to be any increases and you've got to wonder who in the heck's controlling the ship. So again, uh, you're going to hear a lot from me. I'm going to continue to advocate for safe, reliable water in the most efficient way possible. 
and I apologize for this, uh, but this is the next Goldman Sachs. I can feel it. Thank you. Mr. Foley? 